This is FYI on your TV brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham. I have got Madeline Archer with me and I've got Laura Hunter. You're both with the Smith Falls Horticultural Society. Welcome to FYI. Thank you. Now, Happy to be here. The, the snow is melting. We're starting to see the grass. So it's nice to start talking about uh, gardens and, and getting things planted. For sure. That's right. Now you have monthly meetings. We do. Um, they run from uh, February through to June and then we take the summer off. Then we're back in September through to November. Okay. And then we take uh, December, January off. Okay. Now, your membership yeah. right now, you've got a great number of We people. do. We have 72, and uh, we expect that number to climb. And uh, we're looking forward to welcoming new people. And they will find a lot of interesting things when they come to the Horticultural Society. Now, we meet at the Legion, Smith Falls Legion, uh, at 7 o'clock. And that's located at 7 Main Street East. And um, like I said, if they come out, they, they can, uh, this month, of course, well, this won't go out this month, but anyway, this month we're having a special uh, film, which we may repeat uh, if it's a big success, Movie and Popcorn Night. Excellent. So, Excellent. So those are going to be the four, no, the third, th uh, third Tuesdays of the month. Correct. At the Legion. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now you are the vice president. I'm the, the president. You're the president. Correct. All right. And you're the past five P VP. The, the past VP. So yeah. you've been with the society for how long? Have you? How long have you been? Oh, with I've only been with Smith Falls Society um, two year two years. Mm -hmm. <coughs> you've been two years and you've already been the vice president. <laughs> oh no, the only reason I, I offered to do it uh, because Laura didn't have one and I offered to do it and, uh, and then Deborah w stepped in this year. Oh, right. But however, let me say that Madeline is not a newcomer to the Horticultural Society. She has long years of experience and has been the president, correct? Oh, I've been Perth. the, yeah, I, I also belong to Perth Horticultural Society. Yeah. And I have been the president there. All right, yeah. all right. Now, I, I was asking you earlier, because I, people are familiar <coughs> in the Smith Falls area with seeing the Garden of the Month. You've changed that this year. I really like this. It's called Curb Appeal. Mm -hmm. Can you talk a little bit about that? Sure, so what we're going to do is uh, have signs made that would just uh, be on a stick that we could put in the person's lawn, recognizing what they have done to their yard and beautifying their community. And they would own that little sign, a little bit of bragging for them. And uh, so, and instead of just one winner, which was the case with the Garden of the Month, uh, we would have multiple people yeah. that would be awarded this sign. And um, it j we, another society, I think it was Gananoque Society, um, was doing this and had great success with it. Yeah. People really appreciated the recognition. Yeah. Right, right. So. And I think, Madeline, we were talking earlier about, you know, if somebody sees a wonderful, beautiful garden, it, it inspires others. Yes, that's it does. Right. That's right. Yeah. They get yeah. some ideas and uh, yeah. it gives them ideas to yeah. go home and do it too. Mm -hmm. And, and I, th I can't remember which one of you was saying it earlier too as well. People put a lot of effort in their garden and both mm -hmm. it's therapeutic for themselves, but it, it, it just makes our community look so wonderful. Mm -hmm. Yep, for mm -hmm. sure. And uh, isn't this uh, a wonderful thing really to be able to go out into your yard or even go and see other people's yards and it just does something for you physically and mentally. Gardening is good for you. Absolutely. And then we we're talking about, uh, you know, uh, I, um, I don't have much of a green thumb, but there's uh, your flowers and your perennials, that type of thing. But vegetable gardens as well, too. The horticulture. Oh, sure. Society. Yes. Yep. That's all, the sort of thing you talk about. All sorts of plants, trees, shrubs, yeah. you name it. We, we yeah. cover it. Yeah. And yeah. I was looking at your Facebook page, and I, I see people already asking, when do I start my plants? When do I start my oh, plants? Yeah. So they come to you for advice. Oh, yes. Yeah. Well, yeah, there's people answer. Uh, those questions from the from the society yes absolutely yeah I, well, and I, I sent a message and got a hold of you guys quite quickly to, yeah. <laughs> to come here so now did you go on garden ontario is that how you no no found? i went on the smith falls horticultural okay yeah, facebook page that's where yeah. i found you okay very good yeah. um garden ontario is another good resource you can go on there and uh and see events for example if you're wondering what's happening in smith falls uh horticultural society and right. that's yeah. one way you can find out about it too. Smith so, Falls Society is one of 19 societies in the district. And the district goes from Smith Falls all the way up to Deep River. And that is a district. 
within the Ontario Horticultural mm -hmm. Society. And I think we have about 19 districts. So we come under the OHA umbrella. And uh, uh, that, you know, some people don't realize that, but we're not just Smith's Falls and our, on our, you know, our own island. We belong to a bigger organization. Wow. Yeah, so it's 19 societies in District 2 is what we're in. Yes. And there are how many districts, Madeline? I think there's 19 districts. Okay. I intended to check that, uh, but didn't. And, uh, and this year we're having a convention and so hope in Ottawa, Brook Street. So we hope that a lot of these people from across the province will come. And Smith's Fall Society is uh, playing a, a, a big hand into volunteering in and helping this convention a success, like Laura and Deborah and a few others. And are, yourself. Yeah, and myself. But anyway, uh, <laughs> um, so that's, that's, I just wanted to let you know a, a, a little bit about the history of, uh, of where we come from. And that's a lot of societies in a, a rel in relatively small yeah. area. Well, from Deep River all the way down to mm -hmm. here, you know. Yeah. Wow. And we have a district director uh, who is meant to visit, and she does, all the societies. And, uh, and she has uh, assistant dire uh, uh, directors, too. All right, that's wonderful. That's one, and your your meetings. Uh, I wrote down some ideas that, that you talk about at your meetings, so you can share different ideas. And it's really education and learning as well. Oh, absolutely. That's part of our mandate is educating. Edu yeah. Ed education. Yeah. Education. Yes. That's what yeah. we do. Receive a, a grant from Momafra, and that is what we have to do. We have to educate and beautify. That's what we were expected to do. Mm -hmm. And Smith Walls does a very good job. Oh, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I, I wrote down some of the the, um, uh, the things that you talk about at your meetings, and you've got flower shows, uh, plant and seed uh, sales and exchanges. Because I'm sure you you must have an awful lot of people bring stuff and share off. And absolutely, and that's what our opportunity table is about. We have one at the meetings every the months that we meet. An opportunity table. Yes, I like that. Yeah, so people bring in, uh, they donate things. It could be anything from plants to seeds to garden decor, whatever, and uh, and there's a little treasure box there, and if you want to make a donation for what you take, that's appreciated. That goes back into the society so that we can do other things with that money. Oh, wonderful. And you've got a photo competitions too? I really like yes. that. Yes, yes. Yes, photo competition once a month, and uh, how that works is the, we have a theme every month, and um, members will take a picture and bring it to this, the uh, person that's looking after the table, and uh, then we have everyone choose their favorite just by a number, put it in, and, and uh, the one that has the most uh, um, votes uh, wins that photo competition. And, their, and then at the end of the year, those points are collected, and that person will um, have their picture put on our, our uh, yearbook cover. Very nice. Very yeah. Nice. Now, if you're a member of one uh, society, you can go to any oh. societies? Is that uh, well, mostly. mostly. Mm -hmm. You can go. Mm -hmm. Now, you still might be considered a guest at another. Okay. So, but yes, yeah, you can go to any society. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's right. There could be a fee if you're a guest. Yes. Oh, okay. All right. And uh, depending on what they're doing, you know, if they're, if they're having a special event and they're inviting people and uh, that has happened, you haven't had to pay. But it's a minimal fee, uh, yes, five dollars usually, or three dollars. And your though. membership is very reasonable as well. Oh, as well, mm -hmm. yeah, ten dollars mm -hmm. for uh, a person for the year. For the year, yes. And that gives you access to everything that we do, um, unless it's like a bus tour, which of course there there is a, a slight fee for that because we'd have to hire a bus mm -hmm. and a bus driver. But um, yeah, so. Uh, I lost my train of thought. Oh, that's <laughs> it. So to become a member, do you want people to uh, contact you before, or can they just show up to a meeting on the, we've got the third yes. Tuesday, just show they up? They could do either. Um, uh, we, we discontinued the, um, we used to have um, an e-transfer um, mm -hmm. set up, but we've discontinued that now that everything is starting to open back up, and so they can just come to the meeting um, and and sign up for a membership then. Okay. And so it's 10 for a person, 15 for a family, 
which is very reasonable. Absolutely. Now we only request that you know they be of all the same address. You know, Absolutely. it's a family. Right. So right. Uh, right. yeah. So what what did your meetings look like during COVID? Is this your first time back at having real meetings, or did, were you able no, to do that we last, year? last year? We've been you back last since year? last year. We did do Zoom, mm -hmm. um, and it was great that we were able to do something, yes. but unfortunately it didn't really work for a lot of people, so I would say the maximum we had was maybe 21, 22 people. Right. You know, out of a, a 75 membership, mm -hmm. uh, it wasn't ideal. But we have a fantastic newsletter editor, Anita Fregan, and she always sent everything out to everybody so that they knew what was uh, what the meeting was about. We we would host speakers on Zoom as well, Excellent. and so the content was included in the newsletter, so they didn't feel totally out in left field, you know. All right, all right. So yeah. in terms of those people that are asking, when can they start planting? When can they start planting the, uh, the vegetable garden? I know people get excited and start the seedlings inside. We're in the middle of February right now, so soon. Last uh, last frost date is May, mm. right, Madeline? May twenty first yeah. is usually. Oh, usually, you don't yes. plant till after May, uh, May two four. That's usually been yes. a, a rule, yes. Yes, yeah. but uh, with regard to seeds, planting seeds indoors under lights, uh, certain seeds need longer. You know, some seeds. Uh, Laura's already got some seeds planted now, but uh, we, my my husband, I won't say me, we. It's my <laughs> husband. He starts planting seeds first of April. Okay, okay. I, I, I like the fact that I see schools. Schools are encouraging children to learn how to, to start plants and that sort of thing. And some schools have gardens too. Well, we're partnering, partnering with Montague are you? Public School this spring. Um, so we're asked to mentor um, from kindergarten to grade fives and six. Um, and what we're going to do is help them get seeds started, and then when it comes time to transplant those seedlings, we'll help them with that again. And they're hoping to uh, buy a tower, an indoor tower, that they can continue to grow inside. Wonderful. So this, this will probably work better for them next year, but we'll see. Wonderful. And so we're looking forward to that. It's, uh, you know, I love to see little ones get involved in gardening. My grandson just loves it. so. Um, I think it's important to get them started early and understand where their food comes from, mm -hmm. you know? Yep. It may take a little while to start to see the seed grow, but I mean, day by day, you can see the difference it makes and, and the, the fact that they're helping make, provide vegetables and provide flowers, that sort of thing. Yeah, it's, it's great to teach the children this. Yeah. 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 Doesn't just come from the grocery store. No, that's right. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Or mom. Yeah, or mom. <laughs> exactly. That's right. That's right. Well, thank you very much for joining me today. You'll have to come back because there's lots to talk about at our Smith Falls uh, Horticultural Society. Once again, I have got uh, Laura Hunter. You are the president. I am. And Madeline Archer. Thank you very much for joining us from the Smith Falls Horticultural Society. Love the fact you're working in the schools, too. I think that's wonderful. All right. Well, thank you for having me. Meetings, us. third Tuesday. Third yeah. Tuesday of every month. At the Legion. At yeah. the Legion here in Smith Falls. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank, thank you. Thank you for having us.